Africa is home to some of the world's fastest growing cities. As populations grow, more people are moving into exposed and poorly connected areas. Governments and community leaders are faced with the challenge of protecting urban residents from floods, landslides and other hazards. Avant, euh, ces deux rivières que vous voyez avaient euh, une très grande section qui pouvait contenir les eaux sans problème. Mais de nos jours, avec l'augmentation de la population et aussi la situation des déchets au niveau des collecteurs, ces deux rivières sont saturées de déchets. Quand il pleut, on est aux aguets. Il faut être prudent. Il faut veiller. Même s'il si pleut à 3 heures, il ne faut pas dormir. En faisant entre l'eau et le sable. Bon, donc euh, ce qui a fait connaître, c'est parce que pendant trois semaines, ça en fait plus. Par exemple, il y a des land conflicts. You know, people are not aware of the features of their existing area. So when we have this open map system, I think we will reduce these problems facing our offices. Knowing who and what is at risk starts with a map. Through Open Cities Africa, governments and their communities are building the maps they need to protect their city from hazards. Open Cities teams adapt innovative new technologies and local fieldwork to gather information about an area. At the desk, students and other mappers use drone and satellite imagery to trace buildings and visible features. On the ground, field mappers work with local residents to bring their own knowledge to the map, adding thousands of streets, markets, rivers, canals and more into OpenStreetMap. This map data is being used to plan better, build better and respond better to disaster. We've had disaster issues around the country. We have been uh, used to going on the field using satellite imagery to collect those data. But with this instrument, uh, we're going to add more value to the kind of work we do. It's going to help us in collecting our disaster information and disaster risk data. On ne peut plus rien faire sans la maîtrise de l'information, sans la maîtrise de la donnée. Et nous avons tant de ressources, tant de potentialités à traduire en données. Donc le monde de demain, c'est vraiment l'information, c'est vraiment la donnée. We have the same geography and more or less of the same capacity. It has encouraged us to see that there is a lot in common that can be shared and it can be built on and there's a lot of information that we can share and do better and take the agenda for disaster preparedness and management, a prevention and reduction forward. Il s'agit d'un projet à la fois local dans un pays, dans une ville, mais il s'agit aussi d'un projet pratiquement continental. C'est une dizaine de villes africaines. Their impact is felt at the end of the day because they were involved from day one. 